Taking the Long Way Home, episode 10, featuring Urukai shit. Ice. Urukai shit? Ice cream and umbrella, two freaking gobsmackingly beautiful lakes, two kick-ass gut-wrenching scree slopes, Hikoi Nui Josh from New Zealand, Electronica Adam from LA, me complaining about my bung knee and a bunch of other shiz, but Urukai shit? What does it look like? Day two, after St. Arnold, short day yesterday to Lakehead, heading up to the upper Travers. Saving Falls. Come up there, and this is in front of us here, beautiful. So Adam, from Los Angeles, what the hell are you doing on these mountains in New Zealand? What's going on, man? Pretty damn cool. Be here at Lake Blue Lake, having read about this and building up to walking to Araroa. It's all rather astounding, really. As I suspected when I was in Queen Charlotte and I talked about the orc shit and I was going to check out for the Urukai Urukai shit. Urukai sure. shit, you reckon, Josh? Almost certainly. Almost certainly. It's got that sort of viscous texture on that that filmy membrane on the outside. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's right, eh? Hey? Adam? Yep. Urukai shit. Maybe. Nice. I hadn't, I'd forgotten about the mis the, um, what? the membrane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. If you come in closer here, you'll notice a fine, a fine uh, coating coming off there. Yes. Do not, do not ease up. Be ever, ever vigilant. They're here. You like? Feel well. I have a pass. Here we go. Constance. Brand new hut. Just you can just see it through those trees there. And I had a dip in there. Just had a nice, beautiful soak. Got my legs especially because we earlier on today. So here's the here's the wind, here's the backdrop out, out the bathroom window. Didn't use it as a bathroom. I just lay in it. But that's where we came over up around that valley, the Wild Pass. Up to the left there, that was where the wild pass was. Where we're heading, up this valley. I've got a, about an 8 o'clock finish tonight. Let's add him up ahead. Josh has shot off ahead. Hopefully he's at Rockby Hut right now with a fire going. That'll make it a 37 kilometre day. 
be coming up to 12 hours probably by the time I get to the hut walking from Rockby hut to Boyle Outdoor Education Centre my knee I'm at a bit of a low I think this knee is just taking a lot of energy out of me not comfortable to walk on hasn't been since Mount Brintle when I came down the scree slope and then the next day down the really long descent from a tarn hut my spirits are pretty bloody low crossed wild pass that was fantastic and then yesterday was a 12 hour day my knee is pretty much sore every step that leads me to the conclusion that I need to go and see a physio which I'll see if there's one in hand it depletes the spirits when you're walking with pain and knowing that you're probably going to be delaying the completion of the journey yet again now you're talking I had to have one of these first from just over here and then when I come out of just over there the hot pool I'm going to be going over there to either the Monteith's bar or the Irish pub and then tomorrow I'm going to physiotherapy my left knee is still telling me it's pissed off with me from two weeks ago I came down the slopes of Mount Wintle and Richmond Ranges hitchhiked through early evening through to Hanma there's my buddy over here Adam where are you? Adam there he is Adam from LA and there's our other buddy over here Josh Kia Hiko Nui Hiko Nui so we just came through from we we walked together from uh, Blue Lake he's part mountain goat <laughs> and he's got legs on him they go right up to his hips. A couple of words to describe the the, um, the YL Pass that we just came through, gentlemen. Epic, grand. There's a sense of place, there's an atmosphere, and there's something going on there that's cool, a special spot. Serene. He's the uh, Middle Earth, Middle Earth uh, fecal expert, species variety expert. Yeah. Experience. yeah. So he confirmed for me that there was some um, there's Urukai shit on the hills there. So we've got to watch out, people. Be always vigilant. So just came for a walk up town to come and get a bottle of red wine. A bottle of red wine to have with dinner. Uh, Adam and I cooking up a little feed down at the backpackers. Going to physio. Go to the hot pools at Hanma Springs between the physio appointments sitting in there chatting with this my mate Adam the topic interests this guy and a woman sitting in the pools with us he starts talking to us turns out he's Dave Randall guitarist of Faithless ah, yeah fan fan moment fan moment I love Faithless man and what a dude so he's just written a book, he came, they came out to WOMAD, can be a bit of a downer because when you're injured, you're trying to bloody finish Tararoa Trail, seven weeks or so to go, I'm heading into winter, it's bloody cold today here in the Springs, and then you have a moment like that pop up that wouldn't have popped up had I not had this injury, blah, 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 all right, shit fascinating, Bruce, thanks, thanks for sharing mate, yeah, real cool. There you bloody go. Next week, episode Takomatahi 11. Five days later, after two, three physio sessions, a couple of osteo sessions, three bottles of red wine, a couple of beers, some pizzas, I just had to get going again, bung left knee or not. Adam had stayed on, so he and I head off to Arthur's Pass together. If you're into doing so, please tell your friends to tune in, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Free music archive, thank you. Cloud Jumper wins in fall.